quick. Mm. Hold on. Let me find it. He always can find these clips. Always. How do you find these clips? Christian Gray Snow was an integral part of mm. me uh, getting in trouble with Bravo. He is mm. the worst of the worst human being. <laughs> I mean, wow. Bravo would call me and say, this guy is complaining. I'm like, why are you listening to this freaking idiot? Like, but, who but is Vicky he? knows you don't like him, right? Vicky, I told her. I was like, but you know what? That's She has her relationship with that twerp, that little bitch. Okay, <laughs> Christian Gray Snow. <laughs> I was so I mad at you. I know. And I, like, I'm, I'm laughing at it now, though. You know, and it, it's I'm fine. It um, I'm over it, too. And look, I don't ever want to hurt anybody's feelings, so... Um, but sorry. also too, if I had the power to get you in trouble at Bravo, I would have Vicky's orange back in her hand if I had that much power. Okay. I'm just saying. Yes. Yeah. Only way but, I'm getting an orange back is if Kelly comes with me. <laughs> hey, I, I think that, I think that would set, um, set shit ablaze for many reasons, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's, that's okay. The so the problem is with this show is that they don't really have true friendships right. on these shows. That's, that's the problem here. That's exactly why. right. It's there. There's no real friendships there. I mean, no one's really good friends with Heather Dubro. Like nobody, nobody really is good friends with Gina. No one's good friends with Emily. There's no, there's no cohesive Jen, whatever. She's on there. Um, I don't know the new girl's name. She's pretty though. Um, I don't watch the show. I think Jen, I think, uh, Emily and Gina are friends. I see them. No, I used to talk. To, I used to don't good, think they're friends. I used to be good friends with Emily, and it was mm. just a surface thing. Really, oh. it's just a surface. They never really hung out. They never really went on trips together. I used to go on trips together with Emily. I used to do go to. I went to Cabo with her. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, we would talk on the phone all the time. It was more of a work relationship friend, right? It wasn't mm -hmm. like a true friendship. Right. I would say. Okay, it but let's talk about your hair. Let's stop right for here one minute. <laughs> right, we'll doesn't it look so good? Oh, oh you. my goodness. So I got to go see Ty on Sunday for my color. And I'm like, I'm having FOMO. So we're going to do a poll. Should I cut my hair? <gasps> do it. Let's do do it. it. I don't know if I could go as high as Kelly because I don't have as cute a face as Kelly. I think I could go <laughs> here, maybe here. Look, if, even if you know. don't like Ty it, it'll grow back. To, yeah. That, yeah. Ty always Wait. wants me to cut my hair. He says, you look like everybody in Orange County. I'm like, they're all beautiful. <laughs> if I remember correctly, there was an OC reunion. You wore like a red dress. And I think that you said Ty, is that his name? I feel like yes. I remember you, you You talked about him doing your hair. It's and he so did good. like a bob yeah. kind of uh -huh. look on you. Uh -huh. Vicky, that was, that was good. You like that? Let, do, what, do whatever he says. <laughs> he cuts the best hair. Yeah, Ty. he really does. Ty Alexander he really, cuts really does. But I think so you should just let him like, have his way. Yeah. He's always like, when are you going to cut it? When are you gonna? And then I asked Michael, I'm like, oh my God, look at how cute Kelly's hair is. And he goes, well, that looks good on her face. I don't know about yours because it's very long. I'm like, I have a long face too. I think mine's longer. Why, <laughs> why, long, like, why the long face? Like, Why the long face all the time? Uh, I'm dead. Maybe it was my chin implant that went a little bit too long. For me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You just got to I just you just tell Ty when you get there, look, I got the chin implant. You got to get the proportions yeah. right. You know I mean? Remember when we were filming and Dr. Nicole said to go like this with a pencil? And yeah. if your nose and your chin match up, then your proportion. Mine was like this, my chin <laughs> is in. So he's like, you need a chin implant and you need your nose redone. I'm like, it's because Kelly said I'd look like Miss Piggy. No, <laughs> oh, I never that was played. That, that was Slade said that. that. And Slade yeah. was if you want to make her mad, call her Miss Piggy. Slade and said that. My right. mother got so mad. She's like, you look like your father. Don't be offended. I'm like, who calls somebody a Muppet? Like. No, you're beautiful. So mean. I also yeah. think, Kelly, that had a lot to do with my coming at you because that was in Vicky's first demoted season. So I was already going scorched earth on Bravo because I was pissed that they demoted her. But then scorched that was the earth. that was the pig, that was the piggy season where you sent the like the voice note or whatever. Yeah. You know? And I was like, Vicky's already out here fighting for her life as a friend. And then we got to bring up the Miss Piggy stuff too. It was just too much. Said that to me because I was so mad at you, Christian. You have no idea. And she said a lot of that had to do with Christian sticking up for me. So mm -hmm. that. I, you know, she was honest and we have to have an army and the military sticking up yeah. for us out there. Cause I, it's I, difficult. Yeah. I've always been, um, shamelessly by her side. You know, I, I, I just stand by her, which again, back to just really quick to squash the beef, you know, it is whatever. I'm glad that we can move past that. I think for me, I was like, 
when you and Vicky, but y'all are still friends and cool. And then you may, you help Vicky find Michael, which is, he's like the coolest guy ever. So I was like, you know what? She yeah. finally got Vicky, the man that she deserves. You know, Vicky yeah. finally has somebody that treats her like she deserves to be treated. So Kelly, yeah. we are good. Thanks, as far Kelly. as I'm concerned, if you ever have any issues with me, you let me know. Okay. I, I got you. I don't okay. have to. I'm, I'm over it. All right, He's good. For forgiveness. And yes. Said, okay. For forgiveness too. So. Well, yeah. we forgive Not each that. other. How about yeah. that? No, yes. Look at this adult conversation over here. I love it. All right, well, we're going to move into housewife stuff now. Um, okay. I just want you guys met on season eleven of OC. Kelly, take me back. Do you remember like your first day of filming the season? Do you, were you nervous? Were, what was the experience with production? Well, like? I had um, our facialist, Roxanne, before I was on the show, was doing her face. And then we had Terry Houseman, friends in common, and um, Terry and MJ. And um, we, I have already kind of knew Vicky off the bat. So I immediately clung on to her. And, mm -hmm. you know, Housewives is all about, the show is all about forming alliances because it's, it's sorority survivor. Really, yeah, it if really you, is. If you want to stay on this show, you have to manipulate. You have to form alliances. You have to be smart in in that way if you want to stay on the show because it, it it's sorry. You can't be on an island by yourself. Yeah. You can't be on an island by yourself. Keep you I, so when I went on my first season with her, I immediately had a bond with her. I immediately liked her. Um, I was closer to her than anybody else. I had a friendship with her more than Megan King Edmonds. They said I was oh. her. And I wasn't her friend. We just had a nightmare. Yeah. Friend in common. I wasn't friends with Megan Keenan. She's a nightmare. And oh God, my least favorite so housewife of all time. Yeah. My <laughs> first season, because I knew, I, I mean, my first season was I, I know that if I want to stay on this show, I would have to align with Tamara and Heather and kiss their ass. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, you know what? At the time. My husband was making great money. I didn't need that show. I thought it was a joke that I was getting paid like 60 grand a year. And I was like, I don't need this. I'm going to be myself and I'm going to be authentic and I'm going to like who I want to be. I don't yeah. need, I don't need this show. Yeah. Right. So my first season was I am authentically going to like, and everyone came to me and said, don't be friends with Vicky. No, oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah. I talk about no. it all the time. I talk I about all because the they time. were trying to push you out. They were trying to push her out. They yeah. did. And they know that, like you just said, when you're on an island by yourself, you don't have relationships with the cast. That's right. the easiest decision for production to make, to right. send you on. And you then know? when they were so mean to me at the um, in, in Ireland, I knew that Vicky had to align herself with those people. Like I didn't, mm -hmm. I, I, got, I hurt my feelings like a lot, bad. But I also knew that it is sorority survivor. She had to align herself in order to get in the good graces. And she even admitted it like on the show. She's like, I just wanted to be back in the group again. Like I just, I, I didn't Remember when Tamara to yelled at my face on the bus? I was like, get out of my face. Like, what are you That's doing? right. Screaming fuck you like that. Yeah. And I, I the, you kept your cool. I would never, like, I don't I know. I could. I would lose my mind hard. if somebody did that to me. I wanted to hit her. Also, but that was also Tamara doing it for the camera, mm -hmm. right? That was yeah, in real life, she wouldn't fake. do that. That was her being fake because she goes like this. What did come here? Come here, come here, come here. What did what did she say? Did she say that Eddie is gay? Did she say Eddie is gay? And yeah. I didn't say it. I was like, like, like no, everybody you know, else did. And she, that's when she was like, Okay, this is yeah. for the, this thing. She knew right. that there was Right. Also, it was like three o'clock in the morning and y'all are on a yeah, bus. Yeah. It's like, how are y'all are half cool. awake at that point? <laughs> it's like, why are you yelling at me? Go away. Yeah. Like they're spitting in my face. It was yeah. so gross. I was like, wow. very strange. You're right. But if the cameras weren't on, she would have never done that. She would have never done that. She's mm -hmm. um, she's a, one of the fakest, most um, does things for cameras. Mm -hmm. She is the fakest of the fake. And, you know, I don't understand how Bravo crying in the bushes like she did, you know, spitting in your face, yeah. spitting in Lots of tears. trying to like, you know, do this, you know, conquer and divide kind of crap. And I just don't, I don't want to watch it. And a lot no. of my friends, all of Newport beach, they're not watching. None of my friends are watching. They're like, well, they're you can watching. see from the ratings too. Yeah. They're, they're dumb. Yeah. Way yeah, I mean, yeah. and like, look, we all love some drama and, and some tea, but for me, I, whenever, like whenever people also ask all you know, over the years, 
what city do I start with? Or what's a, what's a good city to, you know, to watch for housewives. If I've never watched one, I always said to me, OC was the funniest. Like I just loved like, you know, you the, had trips, like it y'all just had, it was a silly shit, you know, but real life yeah. stuff at the same time. Yeah. And I do feel like, it's sad that balance has kind of like really gotten out of whack and now it feels um very contrived i mean look at the end of the day I, i'll call her executive producer tamra judge like because she knows like she she has a plan and a layout for the show and a goal and she makes it happen and it's like I, I, is it frustrating for maybe you know you you ladies who have been on the show and see it and maybe viewers that can see through it it is frustrating mm -hmm. but that's why I think Bravo allows it to happen because she's quite, I mean, she's making their jobs and lives a lot easier if you ask me, you know? Well, I don't know mm -hmm. about that. I mean, she's, uh, she's like, she's a sociopath. Like she's like, m you don't even know who you're getting. It's kind of like that movie split. Like you, you yeah. she's like nice one minute and cool to hang out with and super freaking right. fun. And then the next minute, you don't know who this she turns on you. She yeah. turns, you're like, who is this? And for her, to make a commitment and say, I'm going to be on the Trace Amigas and then say, oh, well, I heard they were talking shit about me. Her stories change. You we know? told it to her face. Yeah. Constantly, yeah. constantly changing her stories yeah. Yeah. about why yeah. she cut out the, 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 yeah. the Trace yeah. Amigas. She can't, right. you know, it's like when you lie, rem when you like remember, oh. remember, remember like, like, you know, you I, lie, I don't you. lie because I can't remember what the lie was about. So I always have to tell the truth. You know? That's right. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm always saying I can't even remember what I had for lunch yesterday. So I'm never going to lie because I will not be able to keep it together. You know, Montana QH4 from Instagram wanted to know what was your relationship with, with Shannon like after um, her DUI? And are you and Shannon friends now? Um. So Shannon, Shannon and I were, she didn't ghost me. Um, Taylor Armstrong came over to my house and she's like, as soon as I got off, Taylor, uh, Shannon uh, ghosted me and she didn't want to be my friend. And I remember she did that with Vicky and she did that with Tamara and Tamara mm -hmm. was really, really hurt yep. by Shannon dogging her, dissing her, not calling her. Okay. And, and mm -hmm. I, this is another reason why I think Tamara came after Shannon so hard this season because I think that Tamara is really down in her soul, thinks that Shannon is, you know, a lot of things. And she wanted to go after her. She, this was sport for her. And mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, like Vicky always says, hurt people hurt people. So right. she's really hurt by <laughs> Shannon. Uh, Shannon and I were always close. She tried to get me to film uh, when I got fired. And Pr Bravo and production said, no fucking way. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. And so when Thomas Kelly got fired, he reached out to me and I, because I didn't know if it was true or not. And I said, Hey, is it, was it true that Bravo and evolution didn't want me to film with, um, she asked me to film with her. Like she wanted me to go on there. Well, they let Teddy, they let everybody else go on there. <laughs> like, you know, that why wouldn't they let me? Right. And, um, and he said, yeah. That's and the viewers want to see you. They do. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, it's true. Bravo hates your guts. And so does evolution. Wow. And I was like, wow. I go, cause mm -hmm. Doug Ross, who I guess he doesn't work there anyway. He reached, he reached out to me and said, Hey Kelly, you were a really big part of Orange County housewives. You were such a, he just had the nicest things to say, Doug Ross. Yeah. I love Doug. Like, unfortunately I'm not with evolution anymore. And so, um, so anyway, that's, that, that, so Shannon said, so I said something about how John Jansen said that he, we were at the US. Johnny J, Johnny J. Oh we God. At, we were at the, we were at the USC game with Jeff Lewis, Shannon, John Jansen, and Rick. And Rick had this conversation with John and said, Hey, well, how is it like filming? Like with everybody? And he goes, Terry Dubro, he's, he's good on camera, but they're total snobs behind <gasps> So on my podcast, I said what Johnny J said, and Shannon got so mad at me. And I'm like, this guy's a douche. He guy. said it. He said it. Like, get, be mad at him. Yeah. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Right. And so she quit talking to me after that. And then she saw, uh, we were all hanging out together um, at the Pendry. We ran into each other and she was nice. And 
he said to Jeff Lewis, she goes, um, I don't want to take pictures with Kelly because uh, none of the cast members like her. And um, I'm afraid that I'm going to get backlash. Oh, God. And I'm thinking, I don't want to take a picture with you, bitch. I never asked <laughs> you. Like, it what? is very scary how the cast can get together and say, I can't believe you took a picture with Kelly. Or I can't believe you did that with Shannon. Or you can't believe. It's crazy. It's like you're back in kindergarten. Is he yeah. really yeah. what I'm talking about? She can't be friends with me or take pictures with me. Not that I want to take a picture with her, but like because your castmates, like it's again, hey, you can't. I was gonna say that's that's breaking reality. That you know, it's not. It's impacting what you would normally do. That this is this is the problem with these shows nowadays because it's all about trying to stay on these shows, and it's not about authentic, real girlfriend relationships. That's why Kelly and I are going to do our own show. I got to call Thomas Kelly. Yeah. Can, yes. Can me, yeah. We're going to do our <laughs> well, own show. Well, let's talk about, because, you know, obviously Kelly, Vicky did two oh, yeah, um, that was awesome fun. girls trips. They have, they have Luann and Sonia Morgan on there. We have I a, way, we have a way. lot more fun without being, looking like idiots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and having sex it. with people they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Don't call me out again, Vicky. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. Wait, now I forgot what I was going to say. I'm just I'm uh, Whatever you want. Thank you. Thank you. Um, wait, I forgot what I was getting ready to ask. Oh, Ultimate Girls Trip. Because you guys were talking about doing, you okay. know, your own show. You know, Vicky did two Ultimate Girls Trips, Kelly, as I'm sure you know. We probably will never get to see Morocco, Morocco. unfortunately. Um, I don't think they're going to have any more of those. Do you think they'll have more? I was going to ask, what do you think the future of that is? And like, you know, opportunities for ex housewives to come back and kind of dabble, you know? I think that, I don't think that they're going to do another one of those. I think that, that Carolyn Manto ruined it for everyone. We had a great, great show. In fact, I talked to Brandon Glanville yesterday. She's got a parasite from Morocco and I've been kind of sick for a while. And she's like, test for this certain parasite. Cause there were flies all over all our food all the time. They were pooping on oh. our food. So I was like, I'm not eating, I'm not eating, but she's been sick for two years. We've been back almost two years. And oh, I said, how are you doing? She goes, that? Is she gonna see Bravo? She goes, I don't know, but she goes, that girl, Caroline ruined my life. Like she hasn't been able to get any other work and it's been terrible for Brandy. I mean, I I know that like people say reality TV or whatever shouldn't be your entire livelihood, but like for Brandy, it was her livelihood and it was a great livelihood for her. Thank you. So many opportunities. Bravo gave her so many opportunities and 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 then ice cold. One opportunity. And here she is suing them. I know. I don't. There's no, there's no opportunity. It's going to come her way. McSweeney, she's out there suing him. Like it's the most bizarre thing to me. But they're not going to get new business from Bravo or any production companies that are affiliated. Or any network that's any network they're they're pursuing. Yeah, they're not going to get new work. But she might be kind of where she's at, where she feels like that's going to be her case anyway. So she's got to do what she's got to do. You know, she should do what every other housewives does when they get fired. Go get your real estate license. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I don't. Brandy would like, be. I think she'd be great at real estate. If she lives in in Encino area, Sherman Oaks. Does, like, go get your yeah. real estate license and start a go new work. career. Yeah, because at least you have the connections. God knows you have that. You know, like with all mm-hmm. the people that she knows in in the in the state in the city. Um, well, let's move to life after housewives, life post housewives. Kelly, um, somebody wanted to know. Uh, let's see, Emmy Khan on IG. What is uh, your co parenting relationship like these days? And how is Jolie? Uh, I don't have a co-parenting relationship. My ex-husband is completely checked out. Uh, he's supposed to pay for her second semester. So he was supposed to pay for her, split her housing with me half, but hasn't. Uh, he didn't do the process with her. He is completely checked out of Jolie's life. And he's remarried, uh, right? He's remarried and he has three stepkids. And I think he and Jolie's like, he likes those stepkids more than me. And my daughter is like the nicest, sweetest kid in the world. She's just the, a good person. He's a good all to the earth. Yeah. She's not mean or she doesn't have any, she's really sensitive. She's a cancer. Yeah. So she's like, <gasps> me too. Oh, you, oh, you're a cancer. Yeah. We're sensitive Sally's. I told you yes, that at the beginning. <laughs> yes. So sensitive and like a homebody. And she's just completely opposite from me when I was like ready to rage and I'm not sensitive at all. And I'm like hard ass and kind of mean, she's complete opposite of me. So I, anybody that's mean to her, especially her own father, it makes me want to like, that's awful. Go a wall. 
Yeah. Awful. Well, I hate that for, I mean, I hate that for her. And, and Kelly just dropped her off in Paris. So yeah. Kelly's giving her daughter an incredible experience. Not, she, is that where she's, is she going to school there? She's mm -hmm. going to school at American University of Paris. That's where Look at that. Hell yeah. yeah. So I um, asked her if she ran into Stella and she said, no, not yet. So Shannon's daughter, Stella, um, goes there too. Mm -hmm. So, and they were neighbors. So isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. From OC to Paris, look at that. Hey, look, girls. Shannon's got nice daughters. Nice, yeah. really, really good quality daughters. Yeah. Yeah. I met Sophie in um, New York and she mm -hmm. was just an absolute sweetheart. I was like, oh, yeah. she's very, very kind. Nice. Um, what do you, I mean, when it comes to be, we're talking about life post housewives. And I know that you have frustrations, um, I guess, where you, you feel like people got more chances than you or like, you know, you think you feel like slighted in that in that sense do you ever like actually just miss it though like dang like i kind of you know um okay. i you know what i miss i miss uh the experiences I mean, kelly we had so much experience. fun with the trips and i miss i miss the experience it was it i mean it was the probably the most fun job when yeah. it was yeah. <laughs> so fun. it was a fun job it was an easy job mm -hmm. and it it was a fun job there was a lot of things that were bad to it, but I think it was more good than bad. We could balance, we could balance it pretty well. As long as you knew at the very end, everything was going to be okay. I we had to create a good show. I, I missed the money the most. Yeah. Money was good. The money well, was good. Well, you said earlier you, you got like 60,000 for your, that first season. That's when you were like, the, you didn't really care, but so yeah. not, the money got good. Oh, it tripled. Quickly. Is that, yeah. What were you three seasons, four seasons? I was five. Five, so it tripled. You're saying really, by I'm the time you Dana made it longer than me, no, can't believe that. If you look, they're up there in the running with some like long time, like iconic housewives. I know, know. Like, iconic. I know. <laughs> I know. Don't do I know. Iconic. Emily does yeah. the only thing Emily ever did that was iconic was she says, "I'm going to kill you." To me, that was the so, only thing so iconic about Emily. Gina, Kelly, what has Gina done? No, not, but she's a survivor of the abuse and the DUI and she got herself looking really cute. But do you remember sitting down with Kathleen French upon every season saying, what do you got going on this next year? Cause they want to know if they wanted you back. What are these people that are being filmed with right now saying what they have going on? Yeah. It's all about fighting with the other people. It's exactly right. Just That's like I haven't watched another thing like Emily's um, Emily. I like her. I think she's more fun than Gina. But I like. There's no. There's nothing else happening. Like okay, there's nothing inspiring. You're gonna, you're gonna take out of jail for a story. You're, you're not. You're not a practicing lawyer. You haven't been a practicing lawyer since the seven years that I've known you, uh, Gina. I'm gonna watch her another con living in a condo with her boyfriend, shacking up with six kids in the house. Like that's just boring to me. And now she's a realtor, like everybody else in Orange County. Um, <laughs> It's like, it's, it's just, you know, they don't go on awesome trips. They don't go, they don't have fabulous lives. They don't have like cool, like you're just, it's boring to me. Yeah. yeah. I feel like there's the, the production effort just really isn't there the way that it I used to so be too. the creativity anyway. You know what I mean? It's the same um, over and over. Cause they're letting everybody do their own reality quote unquote, but they're putting them in environments and these people don't know what to do. So they're just going to fight or they're going to call each other out on something. And so there's no substance or no inspirational message or, you know, unfortunately when I was filming, everybody was freaking getting divorced and that was horrible. And Kelly got divorced after I did, but Tamara and I were getting divorced the same year, hated that, then dated a bad boy and then dated another bad boy. So it's like, that was real life stuff that I was going through. I had no, you know, but I think all that's gone. I think, you know, people are just looking at how, what can I do to call somebody out on what they did or said, yeah. right. That gets old. Right. Like everyone's yeah. like, do you think that, um, Heather Dubrow called the paparazzi or something? I'm like, is, does it really matter? Is this the storyline? <laughs> no, I, I was like, who gives a fuck if she did? Is Don't care. Guess, guess what? Who if she called them, care? they showed up. So she was relevant Don't enough care. for them to show up. So and <laughs> Don't care. And don't care. Don't care. Like, I, I mean, that should have been like a question. Yeah, that should have been like a silly, like joking type thing. You know, like yeah. oh, you know, like a, and I'm like, I can't believe this. It was it turned into a feud. Like, who I gives know. a fuck? You yeah. Know? I'm sorry. I, I 
If I were to quote, they're like, yep, I called the paparazzi on myself. Yep. yep. I, sure I wanted to show that. You know what I would have done? I'd say, Gina, you call them and I'll call them. We'll see who shows up first. Yeah, exactly. When they show up. <laughs> yeah. They're going to see you. Are they going to follow you at Disneyland, Gina? Exactly. No, yeah. you and Emily and Gina, y'all be taking each other's paparazzi pictures. The actual paparazzi is going to come take mine, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. Well, we're going to, I guess, start to wrap things up. But Kelly, I want to ask you to just talk about you know, your life with, with Rick, you guys have a YouTube show. Um, you you feel like you travel all the time. So uh, yeah, what, we, we travel a lot. Uh, we're selling our house in West Hampton. So I'm going to go out to New York for a couple of weeks. Uh, we have a podcast on Patreon and then we have a daily one on, on, if you guys know it's work, it's not like I have to be, this is a job like, oh, yep. for a job. Yep. I'm like, yeah. And then, you know, I do my, I get paid on my influencing stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, like honestly, and you and Rick do videos like every day. So like that, I'm like, that's a lot. That's a lot of production. Lot of work, a lot of editing. <laughs> it's, it's a job. It's, it's yeah. a job. Uh, so we're looking to buying a house here in Orange County. Uh, so we, we put an offer on yesterday. We'll see if we get it. Oh, you did. In oh, Laguna? nice. Yeah. Where in Laguna? In uh, Huntington Beach. Okay, good. Because, you know, I looked at that one. Why didn't physically look? I looked online. I love that area. Yeah. I, I love want to get up in the morning area. and walk the beach. I want to be by the beach. I want to walk the beach. I want to be near restaurants. I want to be, you know, that Pacific cities. I love that. I love that. You know, if I want to go to Sephora, it's, I can walk right Right. there. Um, I like LSXO. It's a little Vietnamese restaurant. So awesome. Um, I, is that, is that near the house that you put the offer one on or is it the same one? Yeah. Yeah. It's right by the house. So, you know, I can't afford uh, a Newport beach anymore. Not Nobody can. It's five to ten million dollars just for an average house. Yeah, it's I just so I have have that kind of money. I have to move out to where I can afford. So yep, and and you live within your means and you know your budget. You don't overextend and right. So proud about you. Yeah, you know, and you still live a good life. You know what I'm saying? You're not you're not out here like traveling and driving nice cars and but you don't want to get house poor ever. Yeah, well, I drive Rick's car that's already been paid off for five years. Like I don't, I'm not. I could care less anymore. I'm just, yeah. I changed. You know, we talked about that with clothing and everything. Was, I just yeah, paid like, my car on. Like, I I'm, love it. You look so <laughs> I, I'm just like, a, I've, I'm, I've changed really. The yeah. older you get, the more conservative you get. Well, also, you just realize what matters, I think. You know, it's yeah. like, who gives Stuff a shit? Doesn't you know? Matter. Yeah. yeah. We like, want to live gonna... in nice houses, but it's the experience and the lifestyle that we're buying. You 100%, know? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, as we wrap up, I thought it could be fun to play a RHOC word association game. So I'm just going to throw out some words and y'all have to tell me which OC cast member comes to mind first when I say these words. Okay. Oh God, you ready? Kelly, you're probably going to win. <laughs> All right. First word is sweet. sweet. Like one of the cast members that's sweet. Yeah. Who's sweet? Like who's sweet? Who's nice? On RHOC? I ain't about yes, 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 yes. Your 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 ladies. Uh, I would say Emily. I don't know anybody else. I don't know Emily very well. Who, who's nice, Vicky? Who's the nicest? I am nice. Know? Okay, Vicky picks herself. I love that. Okay. <laughs> um, Who's nicest? Bad with money. Shannon. Shannon. Uh, she knows loaded. I don't know who's gonna hear. I know this one. Who's the most loaded? Heather. Heather DeBro, yeah. Uh bitchy. But when we started, she didn't have money. She yeah. was she was not having money when we started. Wait, I mean, what you mean the money they have now or no money? Well, she, told, they- she told, well, she told me when we were at, when we flipped that car that Terry DeBro's uh brother died from ACDC yeah. or whatever that quiet riot. Quiet riot. And mm-hmm. that he left them his portion of his trust. Yep. The music rights. Easy to make money. Yeah. And then also when you sell a house for $20 million or, you know, profit. But who can afford to even build a house for 20 million? Not the average. True. But and they're, now somehow, they're building the other one in LA too. They're going to re- that, that Somehow one. in Newport Beach, the people just have so much flipping money. And we all have 24 hours in a day. And I think I've listen, done well. Listen, but- Heather DeBro may have a lot of money, but she's boring. Okay. Like I, I there. like, I don't know like, what's so interesting about her. I don't find her at all. Like, yeah. Funny. It is her. It is her money and her her snootiness that is that is I think what sells her as a character yeah. on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but, um. To me, it's like what what she doesn't have a plane. She doesn't have a mega yacht. She doesn't have like she doesn't have like. 
I don't know. It's, she, she's not like my friends. Like my friends are on a different level. You know, there's levels, right? Mm-hmm. Of, of wealth. And she's wealthy. I mean, she's up here compared to us, but my friends are way above her. So mm-hmm. and they have way more interesting lives. I think, I don't know. Well, we need to get them on OC. Um, All right, back to word association, bitch. Tamara's a bitch. Tamara. Tamara, she's a bitch. She just really is. You never know which Tamara you're going to get. Yeah, Hateful, mean. Um, Mm -hmm. Let's see, liar. Tamara. Mm. Tamara. Tamara. Easy. Motherly. Who's the most motherly? Me. Ricky. No. That was good. Did I pick myself? Yeah, you can pick yourself. Yeah, no, Vicky. Uh, best cook, most iconic. Vicky. I get three of them. <laughs> Two of them I chose myself. Well, I mean, if you're going to choose yourself for when I say most iconic, it's the best one. I to would say Vicky or Shannon. Yeah. Well, one good thing happened today is you guys made up. We yes. did. Yes. And you know what? And I think that just speaks to. All of this Maturity. Bravo stuff, you know what I'm Maturity. saying? But it's like, well, well, look, we all come to watch Bravo and all to have fun, and we all get a little too carried away at times, and and it is because you care and you care about the people on the show, and it gets a little too too, you know, messy. I sometimes, understand but why you came out. Nice yeah, to okay. take a step back, and we're here to have fun, folks. That's what that's what life is about: is fun mm-hmm. and having a good time and being nice to people. So that's what yes. we're going to do, right? Kelly, thank you so much for joining us today. I, I mean, I just like I'm to go whoop it up. I just hung out with the two most whoop it up girls. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was nice and, seeing you. And yes. uh, thank Thanks, Kelly. Yeah. yeah. And Kelly, tell everybody where they can find your podcast and um, your Patreon. Patreon.com and the Rick and Kelly Show daily on the Daily Smash on YouTube, the Rick and Kelly Show. Okay, that was so much fun. That was such Please, a fun episode. Everyone enjoyed it. Yes, be sure to rate, review, and subscribe. And we'll be back again next week, right? Just like corn. We'll see you next week. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> I knew it. Another Herdat Media production.